Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Klaus Hinsby from the Geological Survey of Denmark and Greenland and the uh, chair of the Water Resources Expert Group, uh, uh, as you see here. So, too much, too little, or too polluted uh, are actually uh, um, the main issues for, for us to, to study and provide information uh, for in the Water Resources Expert Group especially uh, currently in the changing climate. <clears throat> so the Water Resources Expert Group compiles and ensures fair access to groundwater quantity and quality data at local to pan-European scale and at long to near real-time time scales. Um, I provide you two examples, uh, one on groundwater quantity and one on groundwater quality. So this example on groundwater quantity uh, shows a new pan-European potential groundwater recharge map from 81 to 2010. And the information for that map was compiled in seven EU countries, um, uh, member states. And the data from these countries was extended to the European scale by the use of satellite data and machine learning. Uh, this map is uh, shown, or, or, or uh, I, I got it directly from the EGDI, the, the European Geological Data Infrastructure, and the map you are on, on EGDI. And the data that, that was used to provide this map is freely accessible to everybody, so, so they can download it and use it in their own work if, if, if need, needed. And you will also see, it, it's a, a little difficult though, but I also inserted here a map uh, showing near real-time water table measurements in the monitoring area of uh, Denmark, where we actually have sensors in, at five different depths. Uh, so I'm, I'm sorry, it's a bit difficult to read, but, but here we have uh, measurements several times a day to be able to see how groundwater tables are uh, developing in, in uh, for instance, uh, uh, cloudburst situations or, or, or similar. These data you can get access uh, to, to on, on EGDI. Uh, this example on, on groundwater quality uh, also shows actually the power of being able in EGDI to combine, combine different uh, map views. And here you see a map of uh, groundwater concentrations above drinking water standards in, in European aquifers for fluorine and arsenic. And some of you will know that arsenic is actually uh, the reason or responsible for the largest mass poisoning in history. And, and people uh, all over the world are uh, most probably drinking uh, uh, water uh, with, with the two high levels of, of uh, arsenic inside. At, at the insert um, to the right here, I have zoomed in on Hungary, and besides showing also the arsenic concentrations, I've also shown uh, information on the presence of uh, thermal waters in the area, and, and both of uh, them are at least in, in some places related to the distribution of faults in, in, uh, in the area. And that goes for, for uh, other regions in Europe, which, which you will be able to read soon in, in a recently accepted paper uh, by Jiménez Focada from uh, the Hover Project in, in the GeoEuro program um, in ecotoxicology and environmental safety. I also introduced uh, briefly last week, I was hiking in, in uh, Portugal, and uh, uh, actually uh, I, seeing the, the, the um, springs and the thermal spas in the area, I was inspired to show my friends. I, I got, within two minutes, I prepared this map from EGDI on my phone and showed it to, to the friends I, I was hiking with and telling them about uh, uh, how these uh, springs uh, actually uh, was uh, developing in, in the area. And I think that's enough for me. Thank you. 